this. So back here at home, we've got a few bits and pieces to do. A lot of you have been asking about um, the cuttings, the blueberry, uh, not the blueberry, the black currant cuttings. Well, the ones in the water, as you can see, have done quite well. And I'm gonna, before the roots get too big and, 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 and things like that, I'm gonna try potting some of them on. So that's what we're gonna do today. Might have to trim these back a little bit because they're a little bit too tall for the pots that I've got. I'll have to have a look at that. So let me grab some compost. I'm finally going to get around to sorting out the grapevines for the people that wanted them as well. Um, there's been a, a bit of a delay on getting them sorted. So we'll get these. I've just got a, I think these are, what size are these? Some five inch pots. So they're just, they're just not tall enough. So as much as I don't want to, because it's calloused over, I'm going to have to um, chop a bit off the bottom, at least in some of the cases. I've actually just found in the greenhouse a couple of these larger eight inch pots. So the ones that are definitely too tall, we can put in these. So I'm just going to be potting them up just with standard multi-purpose. Um, now the problem, as I said, with doing the water germination or the water cutting method is now I'm going to be potting these guys up and trying not to break off any of these roots. So you kind of have to have about 50 million pairs of hands, hold that and crumble the compost in around the roots and then just give it a really good watering in in the hope. Because what happens if you, if you leave any air gaps around the roots what sort of happens is the roots will air prune off which is not what you want ideally so not too much jiggling because the roots are delicate um, and not too much compaction either take your time water them in rather than press them down because once again the soil that's on top of the roots will crush and snap off those roots that you've spent weeks trying to cultivate and so these are the ones that were in the water with a with a drop and I do mean a drop of seaweed fertilizer in them a good water in, tap it down and generated quite a lot of space there and I can still so I can see some roots poking through the top so we'll put some more compost on. Once again soak it sort of try and bang it down a little bit. And I think we've settled nicely there. Let's put a little bit more on. Not too much. Give this a tap down. Water in and a tap down. And that's it. That's a blueberry. Uh, I keep saying blueberry. That's a black currant potted on. Now, because these have been upstairs in a grow tent in a relatively sheltered environment, I'm going to be taking these inside into the living room for a couple of weeks before they come outside into the greenhouse. But I'm going to get on with getting the rest of these done. I'll come back to you when it's time to talk about the grapes. close up as to what I was talking about. So once again, this one is too long for the pots that I've got. So I'm gonna to have to cut a couple of inches off the bottom. 
but you can see the bottom has calloused over and that's not really what you want to do because that's keeping the plant free of infection. And of course in doing this, you're reopening it up to the possibility of infection. So just as I would if it was a fresh cutting, to cut a 45 degree angle so that water doesn't pool on it. And as with the others, we'll carefully pot it on. So what I'm going to try to do with these grapevines is A, trim them back. I'm probably going to get cuttings off cuttings here. But we're going to give them a heavy trim. This one and this one. I might pop them in some sort of compost. And then we're going to try and get them out without doing too much damage to the roots because I wouldn't mind betting these are quite heavily rooted now. Yes, they are. No, I'm going to have to tip them out. So just to show you, just tipped out the bucket of those cuttings and you can see how well those cuttings have taken. So they've started to root bind. So if I send you one of these cuttings and for whatever reason it doesn't survive, let me know because I always do more. Yeah. There's no growing points on that though, unfortunately. So I've got one there. Uh, and if, like I say, if it doesn't survive, I'll just send you another one. Especially this one. This one's got one hell of a root ball on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to package that one up to send out. These three are probably the best candidates. Those two are my best candidates. I'm going to rinse off some of these. In fact, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So now comes the tricky part. A little bit of compost. And then... into some cling film. Give it a trim, because it's too tall. And chop it a 
about there. And there we go. And then all I've got is these poster tubes. So what we're going to try and do is pop the plant in there. I'm hoping that the people who wanted these will have already received them by the time this video goes out. But if not, cut the tube open because you'll never get the plant out. And that's it, ready to go. There's one more to do. And the others I'll pot up. Like I say, if, if I send you one and it fails, let me know. Because I can always get another one out to you. Or I can just send you a bunch of cuttings and you can root them yourself. If you don't want to risk them being in transit for a few days.